Okay, it says we're live. We're just waiting for people to come over from Kathy's. I'll try and get a pop out chat working. And I don't really even know what I'm doing today. How's that? Wow, 13. Boom. All right, maybe I'm going to try and set up. I don't know how good the battery on my is. Um, and I don't think I get notifications from my own channel. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway. Hi, Joycey. Hi, Linda. Hi, AJ. Carrie Ann. Colleen. Michelle. Trisha. Joan. Nana. Um, don't know if I'm feeling better or not. I've still kind of got that sinus headache kind of crap going on. But I've been taking some different cold medicine. And it dries me up at least. Somewhat. All right, let's see. I'm going to try and um, sign into my channel on my computer. That should be easy, right? It should pop up number one. Yeah, it says I'm live now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says I'm live now. Nope, mm -hmm. mute it would be a good thing. I just want to see um, how much chat is lagged when I'm on Robert's computer. That's been a pain in the ass lately. So, hi, Ashley. Um, it is a new scavenger hunt, Michelle. I just launched it about a week ago. Hi, Eileen. Linda. Hi, Glenda. Betty or Bet. I'm not sure which. Scavenger hunt time. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Kat. All right. I think I got everybody. Yeah, I did. I, I launched another scavenger hunt. I don't know. It was the week after New Year's, whenever that was. So i um, trying to get this camera squared away here. I'll pull it up and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Look. Go to my channel and um, where I say scavenger hunt launch, the link for the prompt list is in the description of that video. I could go ahead and put it in this one as well. If I remember, that's my problem is I don't remember to do that crap a lot. Hi, Dawn. Um, hi, Kathy. You're welcome. I'm not sure what we're going to do today, but we can certainly figure out something. You've been having fun. I, I get so much positive feedback from the scavenger hunt that it's it's hard for me not to agree to do it again. Um, hi, Carol. Your drawings have been great, Carol. I haven't done uh, I haven't done them in a while. So all right, the chat on mine is about the same. So. Yeah. So anyway, this last couple of days when I've been feeling puny, I did go ahead and do a couple things in my scavenger hunt. And I don't know if you guys haven't seen. Um, I got a really inexpensive set of eyes at Tuesday morning. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Um, to do these letters, oh my God, what a pain in the ass that was. But I did go ahead and use them to put scavenger hunt on my cover, and I love that. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then I was just when Kathy suggested stream putting my ribbon on. So, here's my ribbon with a button. I think Xandra sent me these buttons. So that's one of the prompts that I haven't um, marked off yet. But I brought, what did I do with it? Did I throw that stuff away? Uh, sometimes I drive myself crazy. And of course, I'm flying without a net here. So um, I was going to bring in some paper towel to cover that. I just don't know what I did with it. Because I started going crazy getting ready to stream. Okay, I'm watching on my screen, and it's quite a ways behind where I'm really at. Yeah, it's quite a ways. Huh. 
That's bizarre. Let me go get some more paper towels because I want to cover that right now while I'm thinking about it. And then I'll show you guys the pages that we did the other day that we finished. And then I want to figure out a way to use that gauze because it's so cool. I hate when I do that. I know in 10 minutes I'll find it. Oh, there it is all over the floor. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, found it. I knew I would. All right, and I need glue water. Okay, got everything I need. So anyway, let me tell you, um, thanks, Diana. Hi, by the way. Um, you had lag too? Yeah, mine's real lag. Anyway, um, I got to tell you guys about that conversation. Um, Robert got a phone call this morning when I was sitting over at Kathy's. And when he answered it, it was a number from, I thought he said Missouri. And of course, he doesn't hear very well. And so he wasn't hearing the guy very well. And it was a, a guy who called him grandpa and said that he had gotten into a accident but it was the woman's fault that she had run into him. And of course, Robert's first question was, well, are you okay? And he said, well, he had to go to the hospital and he had six stitches in his lips and his nose was broken. And so of course, Robert's like, oh my gosh, you know, and there was just something about the whole thing that was really weird. For one, it didn't sound like Joe. It sounded Hispanic. And so I, you know, kind of made a face at Robert, like, uh, I'm not sure about this. Because one, if we would be the last person Joe would call, first of all, he'd call his mom, he'd call his dad, he'd call somebody, he wouldn't call Robert, for sure. I'm pretty certain about that. And um, so then I told Robert, give me the phone. So I said, Joe, why are you not calling your mother? And he said, well, because I'm embarrassed. And then he went on and told more about the story. And he said that he was, um, I said, well, why are you in jail if if the woman ran into you? Like, right? What, what the hell's going on with that? And he says, well, they got me for drunk driving and not wearing a seatbelt and some other BS thing. And I said, Joe, <clears throat> You know us well enough that if you got caught drunk driving, not wearing your seatbelt, we're going to leave your ass in jail. That's it. And I'm going to call your mother right now. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't call my mother. And I said, nope, your mother has been way too good to you, to me, to Robert. There's no way that you're going to put me in a position where I am lying to your mother. It's just not going to happen. And I said, my feeling is if you got caught drunk driving, you are right where you belong. So, and I can't remember, but finally it became very clear to me that it was just utter baloney. So he said, well, write down this numbers and stuff. You got to call my attorney. And I said, well, how did you get an attorney? He said, well, it's a public defender. And I said, so you've already been to court. And then he, he paused. And I was, you don't get a public defender until you've been to court. So, I, you know, there was just more and more going on where I could tell this is just utter baloney. So I said, okay, Joe, I said, I'm going to call your mother and tell me the county and everything you're in. Because um, at that point, I, you know, whoever it was, I figured was in Missouri. And he said he was in Kentucky. And I said, well, what the hell are you doing in Kentucky? Oh, I came down here with some friends, blah, blah, blah. And I said, Joe, Joe, Joe. I said, okay. And this is where I really got him because Joe has a daughter, right? And I said, Joe, where's the girl? Implying that he should have his daughter with him. Oh, she's with me. I said, well, where is she? Well, she's not with me right now. And I said, Joe, something about this is not sounding right at all. 
I said, you would not be drunk driving with your daughter, not being able to tell me where she's at. I said, um, go ahead, give me the information. I said, I'm going to call and do some verifying. <laughs> and then the phone went click. <laughs> he hung up on me. But he actually, before that, he had given me the number of the public defender. I left that part out. And so then all this chicken shit who's in it with him, right? So I called the number back and the guy answered hello. And I said, is this the public defender's office? Um, yes. I said, can I talk to Michael, whatever the name was he had given me? Yes. And I said, you know, I just got a call from my grandson that I think is just utter bullshit. Click. <laughs> he hung up on me, too. So, but I had fun for about 10 minutes. It's coming right out the top of my book. So that was my fun this morning. Oh, your husband got a call like that too? Gilly. See, it's weird watching on my screen and then on your screen. Yeah, and you know, I just know it's bullshit because um, honestly, if, if you ever got caught drunk driving, I am the last person on earth you should call because I would call the judge and say, you need to just hang them right now. Death penalty, that's it. I am I am so opposed to that. So hi, Vicki. Hi, anybody else who had come in while I was running off at the mouth. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, I've heard that it's just a big scam. Hi, DeMonte. Hi, Holly. Um, so yeah, I had heard about him before. So I just really never thought it, you know, you go through life thinking, oh, that will never happen to me, but it does. So anyway, here's the guts of my book. I took it out so I could um, work on that cover for a second. So <clears throat> there's the prompt list. And again, I will write myself a note right now to add the, descri add the description, add the link to the prompts in the description. I got myself a note here. Anyway, so I, I haven't done very many completed. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've um you've probably seen the stuff that I prompted that I posted. No, we don't have a home phone anymore, scrap chick. Um Colleen. It was on Robert's cell phone. But it, my cell phone number is what used to be my home phone. So thanks, Nanamo. So this solved one prompt. No, two prompts. This was the vine border and the fingerprint bumblebees. So that was two prompts. And then this one is also two prompts. This was some um, gratitude. I don't remember what it was. Um, yeah, this is a page of balloons and a page of grateful. So I just wrote down all the things I'm grateful for. Good health, fibs, Netflix, home, lake life, art, true love, faith, family, sunshine, trust, coffee and books and intelligence. I hate stupidity more than any freaking thing. I, I believe that Colleen because they're still listed. Yeah. And then this is my page of postage. This actually is a repeat, only in different colors, of one that I had done for a for an artful evidence prompt. But I loved it so much. I could actually make one of these big for my wall. I love this so much, the way the stamps come out. And they're just little pieces of perfect art all by themselves. So, And then this one, this one cracked me up. I just had so much fun doing this one. This is my gray page. Um, deja vu all over again. That cracked my ass up. And cost boss rules. That's cheese boss. That's Danish for cheese. Is there a green balloon with your name on it? No, I need to do that. Damn it, Eileen, I forgot. Oh yeah, Holly, you can honestly you make up your own rules. You know, and I I honestly wish that there was a way that I could come up with a point system. So the, you got extra points for 
combining prompts or creativity or something. Yeah. And then this is actually Kilroy. And he was popular. If you're young, you don't remember him. And actually, I screwed up because I drew the line all the way across. So his nose and his hands have the line. But anyway, this guy's Kilroy. But I just put Roy was here. For a good time, call Boca Babe. <laughs> Do any any of us know? Boca Babe. That's actually um, Eileen's Twitter name, Boca Babe Art. Call 1-800-HOT-BABE. Hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. And I thought as I found, thought of funny crap that you would write on a wall, I'll just come back and, and add it to this wall. And I might end up doing a second page so I could have two walls of junk. Because <clears throat> I can add another page in here easy because the binding is elastic. So if I just wanted to say take this page and add it there i could go ahead and add a second page of the gray if i wanted and i might do that you well eileen you're home most of the time so you remember him it started yeah i don't didn't know when it started but yeah kilroy used to be everywhere so but i might do a second page of the um wall graffiti because that was really fun for me and I didn't worry about um, what it looked like because it was supposed to look like wall art, right? And then this is going to be my page. And I'll just keep adding to this. This will be my page of fruit and vegetable stickers. I only started um, collecting about a week ago, so I don't have many yet. Is it okay to post pictures on Facebook with, oh, yeah, yeah, Ashley, that would be awesome. Because you can search for the hashtag on any of the social media platforms and see what other people have done. So, yeah, use the hashtag. It's hashtag scavenger hunt 2019. And then you can see everybody's art and everybody can see your art. Hey, Lena. You're at the nursing home visiting hubs. Mom, oh, give her hugs. Anyway, did you see cost boss rules there, Lena? And Roy was here. <laughs> so I'm really thinking I'm going to do a second gray page because this was a ton of fun. And then this I just did yesterday. It's actually weaving with um, paper and washi tape. That was fun. And it was like low stress. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably put stuff on top of it. And I'm not sure what prompt it satisfies and then last night damn it I mean or Lena I had the hardest time I wanted to try those paints that you sent but I wanted to keep all this stuff you know so I went ahead and cut into the packages where is that what did I do with it it should be open because that was literally right before I went to bed last night I'm going to drop my computer if I'm not careful so anyway, I showed you guys the last time my little paint um, palette that Lena sent, but I did go ahead. I just had to. I couldn't help myself. I had to go ahead and swatch them and play with them. So this page is a um, swatch page of products. So I don't know if it'll be you miss cost boss. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah this one I went ahead and just was playing with these paints last night um, they're a little weird um, the the brown especially gets kind of slimy but I'll do probably another page of um, product swatches so that's really all I've gotten done. I've collected up some stuff. Um, I'm going to use, Dee Dee sent me, she, you probably saw this at Dee Dee's. She sent me the monkey because the monkey here with the earrings in the red bag, that reminded me so much of Mary. Mary, I remember oh, a couple years before she let, had to move out of her home, she wanted a red purse so bad and everybody was looking for a red purse for Mary. 
Well, she finally got a beautiful red purse and she carried it. Oh my God. So Dee Dee sent me this. So this is definitely going to go in my book somewhere. I just don't know where, but it's got like monkeys galore. Look at this. Monkeys, monkeys everywhere. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Some say the paint are a bit like gouache. Okay, I was going to message you, Gal or Lena, and ask um, what paints were they? Because everything's in Dutch or some language that I sure can't translate. So anyway, this is going in the book somewhere, don't know where. And I just usually stick all this stuff that I collect in the front of the book. Okay, here's the cutouts from when I did the scavenger hunt lettering. OMG. Headache. That was a headache. But it was a fun headache. Hi, Sharon. Um, what else do I got? Okay, Vaughn had sent me that card the other day. So I did go ahead and make it into a tag, and I will include that in there somewhere. And then this, oh, this is just junk that's, oh, it's got um, candy packaging and different stuff in it. And it's actually left over from last year. Look at sock monkeys, dogs, tag. So this is just junk I had collected last year and saved over till this year so i guess in a minute we'll go ahead and do another prompt oh and my library stuff i got my library stuff here so be thinking about which prompt we can do and then from the papers that we did the other day um well i didn't end up tearing the gauze off this one no this one's still got salt on it too What a damn mess that was. Oh, my God. Robert had to go get his hamburgers that night. I was so exhausted when that was done. Oh. So this I haven't seen since the gauze is coming off just now. There's some little threads left. So that's what the red one ended up coming out like. Kind of pretty. I like it. Say goodbye. Where is the list posted? Um, I don't know if it's Bet or Betty, but anyway, um, the list is on my video. If you go to my channel, the video that says um, Scavenger Hunt Launch. In the description is a link to where you can get the list. I will also try and remember to add it to this one. I have a note, so the chances are good I will remember. Because if I have a note, yeah. But anyway, I really like how um, the places where the gauze stuck, like up there. Isn't that cool where the paint went through and left the texture of the gauze? I did like that. So... Yeah, they came out pretty nice. Here's the one. It's separated, Eileen, because it's. Um, I set it aside to send it to you. Here's the green one. It's going to go live at Eileen's house. So maybe she'll use it in some of her awesome Wonderlust art. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But this one's green. And I, I understand the whole dark in the middle of it, but I don't know. I. I don't know. There's just something about it that feels a little weird. But anyway, yeah, that's headed to Boca Raton. And then this is probably my favorite of all. So I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But this one I absolutely love. I just think this one came out so fun. I mean, and the salt made it like really textury and it's so pretty and the color that you're seeing right now is not even anywhere remotely close. Okay, that's closer. When I shut the blind, this is, that's closer to what the color actually looks like. You tried the technique and it didn't come out. Which part of it, Devin? 
it, def, it, it was weird for sure. I had a ton of fun doing it. Um, oh, thank you, Eileen. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Kathy this morning was cutting out circles out of some papers, labor, labeled papers that she had made. And this would actually be awesome circles. In fact, I'll go get the circles that I cut. Um, the only problem is it's on um, watercolor paper, 140 pounds, so it's kind of thick. So using that is going to be, I'll uh, just throw that away. Um, using that's going to be kind of hard because of the thickness of the paper. But I'm going to run and get those circles real quick because when they're cut, oh man, they are way cool looking. So I'm almost tempted to cut that up. Yeah, I did stick it in here. <clears throat> And that cold medicine's working pretty good. My nose isn't just running constantly. <clears throat> My voice may be a little wonky, though. Okay. These are just some of the pieces that I was jacking with after I got it done. But here's the circles that I made out of the... Um, Leftovers, remember I cut that one down to a particular size. I don't remember why. But anyway, these are the, let me bring this down a little bit. Oh, this is the one that had, where I put the great big marks of the rose gold. And I ended up not liking it that much. But now when they're cut up into little circles, I love them. Like this one, that is a cool little circle. So if you have art that you don't particularly like in its full sheet, cut it up. Now the problem with this is, and I've got to remember this if I ever go back to try and use these, um, because it's water-soluble products, if I go to put this on with matte medium or anything like that, those colors are going to move. Yeah, I love the circles, too. I really love them. But I thought, well, I could lay them out and put a workable fixative on them and see if I could prevent the colors from moving that way. Um, but, yeah, these are going to be perfect for my trash art. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Arlene. Rod. A lot of people have come in. I didn't address you. I'm sorry. You could cut up paintings and make them into books. Do that, Rod. That's a good idea. Or cut up books and turn it into art. <laughs> I do a lot of that. So those were our pages the other day. They were fun. Way fun. And I'm just sitting here thinking if we should make some more of those. That actually would be fun. I just don't know where my diapers are. <laughs> They're out in the... Um, yeah, these actually, I feel like some of them probably need to go to Dee Dee to be planets. But I have this whole little bag of circles and different art that I've made for use in other projects. So what do you guys want to do? Do you want to work on... Um, a scavenger hunt page or do you want to make some more crazy mess papers but look at this cool gauze that I'll be able to use I'm not sure how I'm going to use it but it sure is pretty some of it still has salt stuck on it but that's okay I see from someone to roll matte medium on your jelly plate and lay what you want to make it permanent. Oh, Marie, that is really a good idea. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, you just 
do a layer of matte medium and lay it right down on it. Oh, that's probably a great idea. I had never thought of that. Ooh, thank you. Now if I can just remember it. I won't remember it. I don't remember anything. And with a cold, I definitely don't because I blow it all out my nose. So anyway, I'm going to have to figure out a fun way to use this gauze because it's trash and I'm a trash hoarder now. I hoard trash. It does, doesn't it? It looks really cool. And this is actually just medical gauze because I didn't have cheesecloth. So I just used medical gauze, just took it, you know, a band-aid, you know, one of those folded up band-aids and cut it up. So you probably have some in your very own house and didn't even realize it. Use it. So, yeah. Trying to collect up the salt. Keep track of your salt. It's so corrosive. Hi, Patty. Here's my attempt at what you did, Patty. It didn't come out quite like yours, but it was sure a whole hell of a lot of fun. I got to say that. That's one of them. This is one of them. And the colors are not true. That annoys me because this is, on camera, this is looking really orange when in real life it's very red. There's almost no orange in it. And then this is the green one. I like the green one. But it's going to my friend in Boca. Yeah, I use medical gauze all the time. Yes, Patty, that's from your last stream. I know it doesn't look anything like yours, but it is yours from the Linda Melvin techniques. So it was so much fun. I had fun doing it. And they all came out so different. Like this one, I just love. And then there was another one that I really jacked up. But I can't remember. Oh, I know what I did. I hated it so much that I cut it up into ATC backgrounds. That's what I did with it. This is the ATC backgrounds that I did with the other one that we made. I'm not sure what I'll put on top of them, but they may end up in the scavenger hunt too. Oh, this crazy camera. So, yeah. So, that was the other one I did. Years work, but not as nice. Yeah, the dilution sprays. One thing I have to say about those is um, they're so vibrant. I mean, the you just can't hardly beat the dilution sprays. You really can't. And I don't know of any other sprays that are, are that vibrant. Eileen might be able to tell you because she knows about every spray on the planet, but I don't. So, yeah, so that was way fun. Yeah, I like the gold bits, too. The, I, um, the first one, Patty, I just, the rose gold everywhere. And then the second one, I just put it on the gauze. And it seemed to be a little bit better when I did it just on the gauze. And then the other thing I think I would do different is um, if I was going to, I would do the splatters of the rose gold. We can show Suzanne's. Hi, Suzanne, by the way. I'm not sure why that message is held for review, but there's no reason it can't go out there for the world to see. <clears throat> yeah, I use diapers um, because I had them, and I don't care what happens to them. This is one of the diapers, and I use it for a rag for everything. Um, should we do another one? You don't have to get diapers. Get any old rag. Honestly, it doesn't matter. This one's wet. What could I have done this morning to already get this wet? Hmm. Oh, I wiped the glue brush off on it. Let's do it. The camera's trying to focus. I know. This camera hates white. I'm considering getting a different one. I really am. So you guys are hearing click, 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 click. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Let's do another one. What the hell? I love having the backgrounds. Only this time, and one thing I learned the last time is um, I'm going to use like the 80 pound 
I think the Canson I have is 140. Yeah. I have some real inexpensive Canson that's 80 pound. I'm going to try it because it seems to me like we had better luck with the lighter weight paper. And this is cold press 80 pound. So I've only got two sheets left. And I don't like it for watercolors. So I can't believe I decided to do this again. I'm cuckoo crazy. What colors do we want to do? Hey, Eileen, should we do the blind? Um, no, Eileen wears the diapers, Patty. <laughs> Let's do another. Yeah, we're going to do another because it was fun. Should I do the, um, should I do like a blind three challenge, Eileen? And we just have to use the colors that we get. That would be crazy. I'll get all the dilution sprays down and then we'll do like a blind three. That This could come out horrible doing a blind three. But blind threes are fun. Okay, just getting the stuff out. All the dilution ink sprays. I'll put them here on the table. Make sure I don't have duplicates because that would be cheating, right? All right, here's all the different dilution sprays I have. I don't know if I have them all. I just have what I have, and when they're gone, they're gone. Eileen's saying, green. Yeah, it's time to make a mess. Yeah, 80 pounds is no good for watercolor. But, Rod, what I was doing more often than not was stamping on it and then cutting it out. All right, we're going to do the blind six or eight, three. We're going to do three. All right, here we go. I'm going to mess them all up. And then you guys just have to trust me that I'm closing my eyes. And depending on the colors that we get, you'll know if I cheated or not. All right, here's one. Here's two. Here's three. All right, what did we end up with? We got post box red. Oh, this purple freaks me out. Crushed grape and London blue. London blue is probably my favorite color. So, um, yeah. All right, those are our blind three um, sprays. Now, on top of it, we use, what did we use, Eileen? I forgot. No moose poop. <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah, my cleaning lady. I don't have one anymore because I can't justify it when all I do is sit on my ass all day. Um, she liked diapers or cleaning rags. And then what did, what did, oh, the hydrus watercolor is what we use. So let me get that out. Okay, um, I'm just going to close my eyes and grab one. Please don't be yellow. Please don't be yellow. What did we end up with? Did we get black? It came up black, but black is a color that I get to use anyway, so I get to choose another one. And this is cheating because um, I kind of know the order they're in, so I'll just go like that and grab this one. We got brown. Ugh. Ugh. Brown and black. Oh, my God. All right. And then I think black and white are colors that I get to use anyway. And I do have the white India ink. Bombay white India ink. Dropper doesn't work on it, but the ink is still good. Um, the hydras don't move as much. The only other um, watercolor I have is... Um, the Echoline. Otherwise, I don't have any other. Um, well, now I do have, I guess, could we use the um, Jane Davenport inks? That's another thing. Brown and purple. I think the moose needs to go to the vet. Exactly. But I do have, rather than using the Hydras, um, I do have the incredible inks. So what would that do? 
because I've got those in pretty colors. And I actually would rather use those than the hydras because the hydras are kind of expensive and I like them. All right, we're just going to just do it. We're just going to use the Jane Davenport inks rather than the hydras. And these are scented. And if I didn't have a headache already, I'd probably have a headache by the time I was done with those. Because then the only other um, liquid watercolor I have is, um, yeah, the Echoline. And they're very, very transparent. They're not like the Hydras. Okay. Now this is going to be easier to get an unknown because there's lots of different colors. These are very vibrant as well. So my eyes are closed and I mix them up. And we got Violet Strup. Well, we are going to end up with a purple page no matter what. But, yeah, I think they're water reactive, Patty. I think so. That's what you use, the Jane Davenport, and it's seen PPP. PPP. Yeah, so here we go. You have to, I don't think there's a top or a bottom to this paper. And I'm sorry if the camera is click, click, click in. I'll try and get some color on here so it'll stop that nonsense. And according to everybody who's seen the Linda Melvin video, like she totally saturates the paper. And on this lighter weight paper, I spray it front and back, um, and you'll get less warping or buckling. And then you just got to be prepared to wait for it to um, dry for half a day. But see how now it's going to lay nice and flat, and that's kind of what we want. Cat hairs don't cost extra, so we'll use as many of them as we can. All right, there we go. We've got a big puddle, big puddle. All right, and because we're doing blind three, I'm not even going to look at which of the dilution sprays I pick first. That's the one. All right, we're doing the blue first, which is good because that's my fave. Woo! All right, that's probably enough. All right, now the other two. Oh, God, I picked the purple next. <laughs> the purple scares me, you guys. One nice thing, though, with the red, at least nothing's going to turn muddy. My only color left now is red, so... Push, not touch, not great at try typing, apparently. <laughs> okay. All right, can you see? Oh, God, that's... It, this is like an orange red. I'm not sure I'm going to like this. We're going to use it very judiciously because, yeah. That is some crazy. And what you're seeing up here, that is my chandelier, so... Um, Yeah, just a reflection in the water. We're getting some mud in there, which is shitty. <laughs> All right, are you ready to drop her the... Um, Jane Davenport um, Violet Syrup. Oh, it's pushing the color away. That is really weird. Oh, God, this stink. Oh, I wish she had never, ever put scent in this stuff. Isn't that weird how it's pushing the, I don't know what, yeah, the, see, I threw the packaging away. That almost acts like alcohol in there. Really? Doesn't it? 
you can't hurt i mean i can see the color but it's hard for you guys to see it but isn't that weird how it just pushed all that color away that's crazy all right we're going with it um I'm going to go ahead and add some white. That's the trouble you had. Okay, there's something in the Jane Davenport inks. Um, it, it almost looks like alcohol to me. If I had to guess, that's what I'm saying. Is there's, there's, um, How does it smell? It smells like shit, I mean, I hate this smell. I hate this odor. <laughs> I'm sure some people love the scented stuff. Oh, I hate it gives me a headache we're gonna add the white India ink to it and see what it does and hopefully this crap won't explode isn't that weird but yeah it smells like um it smells like flowers Yeah, that's just weird. Just weird. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and spray the parts that are um, trying to dry because I'm going to put some salt in it next. And I probably am going to have to end up um, adding something back to that center. What did I do with the salt? Didn't I just have it? Oh. I put it way back up there and I don't know what all those speckles are in the back of the paper that's just weird how it's gotten all those speckles that's just weird when do you do the black um well I can add the black anytime Kathy because if this is a blind six then black and white are just choices you get no matter what. Um, but I think this was how somebody who watched Linda tell me, but I think this was kind of, because I'm going to add the salt right now unless somebody tells me different. I kind of want to add some more of that dilution spray back and get some of that blue back. But you can blow the, um, the products around. But I'm going to put some of that blue back. And there's one of my long, great, big blonde hairs. That's always awesome. I don't know. It's definitely weird looking. Add some Bombay. Yeah, I just did, Eileen, that white. That was the Bombay. So... I guess I'm just going to add some salt now. Do I want to add the gauze before I add the salt? No, I want to add the salt first. And it was the salt that made that blue one that I showed you that I said that I like so much. It was the salt that made that one look so awesomely cool. Of course, I've let this kind of sit and dry a little bit, so I may not get as dramatic um, a results. I'm going to try and put a couple big ones in there and soak up some of that mud that I got going on. And I don't know if the dilutions react again in water. I don't remember. Like up there, it definitely needs some water. So the salt will do its deal, man. I try and kind of keep the salt away from the center a little bit and just leave it alone. Looks like a vampire page. It might turn out really cool. Who knows? You know, it's, sometimes when I think things are just really going awry and everything's going to turn to hell in a handbasket, then it just somehow turns out okay. So, all right, I'm going to cut some gauze here. I'm going to try and kind of leave it 
opened up a little bit because I really like when you can see the pattern of the gauze. And then I'll put some, do I want gold or do I want, um, the rats here. It's either the rat or somebody's breaking in. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Fortunately, it's the rat. It's not somebody breaking in. I went down and installed your computer. Oh, no. I know. Did you get done over at Donnie's already? I didn't have much to do over there. Oh, okay. Uh, all these are long. All right. There, I got one, two, three. I need one other because we need an uneven number, right? How about salt before and after the gauze? Well, that's an idea too. These pieces are already drawn, starting to fall. Go put them in the freezer right now. All right, now I'll put um, watercolor. Oh, that's my rag, and I don't have anything to wipe my hands. Um, add some gold and see if that helps. Yeah, I'm going to add gold on top of the gauze like we did that last time, and I'm going to use the fine tech, I think. Of course, if I use the Paul Rubens, we could have any color. But I really did like that gold that we used, and it was the fine tech. I hate to use the rose gold. Yeah, cool. Because that stuff's like precious, you know, like you can't go around wasting it. Hi, Art Piece. Anybody else I miss coming in? These are the fine tech. Um, if you look at them, that's how you'll find them on Amazon is fine tech. Um, but the packaging, when it comes, says Valero. But they're handmade metallic watercolors from Germany, and they are awesome. Awesome. All right, get out a piece of junk brush that you don't care about. Yeah, I'll just use one of these. And I don't have any clean water here. I got to go get some clean water. It's just sitting here. It's ready to take over anyway. Okay. All right. I'm re-wetting, or yeah, wetting the watercolors off screen here, I guess you could, I could move them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spray it just a little bit. Because if it's not wet and it's not floating, I'm afraid what it's going to do is just make a big old blob, you know? So it's kind of got to be wet and floating. And keep in mind, like these blues are going to move, so they're going to end up getting in my watercolor, but that's okay. I'll clean them when I'm done. And I just picked one, um, one of the colors. I don't, I'm not sure that it matters a whole lot. 
the colors of this have turned out so different given the colors we started with, right? Oops, wrong one. But the thing I like about the gold on the gauze is um, it tends to puddle where the threads hit the paper. So, yeah, that's when you end up with a really nice gauze texture on there. I didn't know. I thought it was just going to be a big old blob of um, turned out not. Well, some places it kind of did, but mostly it did not. <clears throat> I'm not really crazy about the red on here, but it's weird that it ended up so red in here. I mean, I didn't use very much of that red at all, I don't think. Or maybe I got carried away, CB, which I can't hardly believe I would do. I got quiet, sorry. Arting, can't talk. Should I try and do some splatters with the gold too? That red one, we must have had it so saturated. I'm not kidding, it probably took two days to dry sitting out here. This one is going to come out really neat. I can tell just by the way it's laying in this one, too. So I'm psyched about those. Okay. Do it while Jean isn't here. Exactly. All right. I'll try and get some gold splatters. Let's see if we can get this really watered up. I love me some splatters. Either white, black, gold. Gold is always nice. And it could be that they'll end up disappearing. Um, sometimes, split, you know, because the page is wet, they'll just get absorbed in. Um, if that happens, I'll have to go back later and add them back. I think they're in that center. I'm going to actually add some dark spots. Um, black. I could do black. But since I've got purple in here, maybe what I ought to do is um, just in that center part, add some purple or blue. Which one, which one, which one do I want? I think I'll do the blue. Well, this cup already has purple in it, but we're gonna do the blue. I might have to reorder this one. I'm gonna use, I just sprayed the dilutions in the cup. So I'm going to keep them just right there in the center, kind of. I like the gold with the red, too. Yeah. Hi, Vaughn. Hi, Mindy. Okay. We'll put this aside. See how that goes. All right. So much for your clean water. It ain't clean no more. 
All right, I guess I'm going to drag this one off and let it dry. It looks better now. Paint's gray in the center. Now I added the blue because I, I wanted to pull some of the blue that are on the edges back into the center because I pretty much lost all that blue that was there in the center. Almost every bit of it, it's like toast. It's gone. So that's that. Now it just has to dry. And for whatever reason, I truly believe letting it air dry, um, especially if you're using salt, is better than forcing it dry um, with the heat gun. I, I think I just get better results when I don't force it. So you just have to exercise your patience, which I don't have an abundance of. <clears throat> all right, I got to move all this junk over here. Robert is a junk collector. I'm a trash hoarder and he's a junk collector. All right, there's so much stuff to move to get this. I don't want to pick it up. Well, of course, there isn't any real puddles. Maybe I can pick this up. Yeah, I can. All right, we're going to do another one. We're going to use that last piece of 80 pound. Let me go get the diaper real quick. Got my dirty diapers. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Yep, got my dirty diapers. All right, and Eileen wants a green one. This one was obviously the one that we did red in, and I've got salt going everywhere when I open that up. I need a be right back sign. Yeah, probably. I'm sure somebody in chat will tell you. Ah, should be back. Ah, oh, that coffee tastes good. All right, did we do a green-blue one? We haven't really done a green-blue one, have we? Here's the last piece of that. Oh, no, I've got two left. Uh-oh. This is the 80-pound crapola stock. Green, blue, and orange. Orange. Oh, man. Orange and blue and green make mud. Eileen, you know that. They do. They make mud. I'm probably going to have to change the title of this video because I said scavenger hunt on it and I haven't done anything for the scavenger hunt. I like making messes too much, I guess. My dirty hands. Ugh. Sorry if the camera's clicking. All right, let's look for, I don't have a lot of green. I'm not going to use that Jane Davenport crap again. Um, but the only green I've got, I've got, let's see, the lime green, the turquoise. I don't even have orange. So that's my out. I do have the sunshine one, but... All right, we're going with the green first. You look up and tell me that number that called them, claimed to be Jill. 
I just talked to Joe. Oh, you did? Um, What'd Joe say? He's okay, but he's trying to figure it out. He said, why don't you tell me? Um, let me go back here. Um, it has to be that number right there. The Herman. Herman, Missouri. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. That's all right here. How is Joe, by the way? Just fine. She says she's been intended to come see us. Whatever. Okay. Tell him I don't believe a word he says. Big fat liar. <laughs> Eileen said, hi, my sweet Robert. Tell Eileen, hello. How's my sweetheart? She just heard you. All right, here's your orange, Eileen. Oh, can you believe this crap? Oh, why do you make me do this? That is actually pretty funky looking right there. But I use the turquoise, not the blue. I'm going to use, leave the center of this one light again. Yuck. I agree with you, CB. But I've already got an envelope going to her, so she can have this ugly piece of crap, too. And look at her. Oh, how pretty. Whatever, Eileen. All right, what color are we putting in the center of this one? We're going to use the hydras again because the Jane Davenport did not work, in my humble opinion. So we're going to use the um, – let's use a dark – well, we've got the dark blue. Let's use the turquoise hydras in the center. And Patty says they don't float as well. They're gonna. <laughs> ah, come on. Quit being a pain. They're all going up to that edge. I don't know why. Must be a buckle in the page. They do. The Janes died. I'm sure some people love that. I can't stand the smell. Nothing against Jane, just the odors really bug the hell out of me. Kind of want to pull some of that back. I need to be able to blow from that side, but I can't. All right, can't do that. All right, wetting the paper where it's drying again. That's one thing about this cheap paper. It has a tendency to want to dry out. I'm going to leave that like it is. They don't have the sprays yet, Eileen. Oh, you're bumming. You were wanting to spend money so bad, weren't you? What did I do with the salt? Oh, right here. All right, last time... All right, this time I'm going to do, I'll put the white there in the center again. Use liquid, I don't have liquid starch. Um, actually, there are some different ones. I think, what are they called? If Patty's still here, I think she said the radiant. Is it radiant that they um, make? Ooh. That are going to float better. I know they have multiple kinds of um, liquid watercolors that are going to work better. So, all right, I'm going to cut up this gauze real quick. And put it on. And then I'm going to put the salt on top of that. Because I'm just curious. If you change the order, what happens? Inquiring minds need to know. Radiant are supposed to move better. There you go. You've just got word from the expert.
All right, one more. So we have an uneven number because Paula taught me that and I trust Paula. Where do we want it? We're going to put it up here so it absorbs a little bit more of that water. Okay, then we're going to throw salt down. Expert is quite the stretch. Well, Patty, just take it and run with it, man. Just go, well, but of course. Duh. That's what I would do. This one looks like a um, aerial photo of a forest or something. I mean, I'm putting a lot of salt on this one, so it should get lots. of texture, I hope. Radiants are not color fast, but hydrous are. There you go. You just have to get both. There you go, Devin. <laughs> All right, so now I need, um, I'm wondering if I should do the, I'm gonna do the silver out of this, um, Fine Tech Metallic Paints, you get this sterling silver one. I'm going to, because I like the white on this one there in the center, I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Radiance this time, or the sterling silver, the Radiance. Radiance in my brain, but now I've contaminated my water, so I need to get some fresh water. Am I supposed to call him back? No, he's well, I told him you might call him. I don't know okay. whether you would or not, but I told him you were on the computer with a while. Okay. Yeah, I'll call him later. You told me to do that. Yeah, it's all right. No big deal. All right, we're good to go now. Yeah, I like this sterling silver. And on black, if like if you do calligraphy, this sterling silver on black paper with a nib pen is amazing. Best silver I've ever, ever, ever seen. I even like it better than the um, than the inks that you can buy that are formulated for either fountain pen or dip pen. This one is by far better. It's a busy little place around here apparently this morning. Okay, that's Robert's grandson's. It's Colin. Apparently, he called the number that had called Robert this morning about him being in jail. That is a Missouri Police Department number, but the guy told me he was in Kentucky. So I wonder if it it's one of those. Um, yeah, where they just use different numbers, where they can program it to look like... Um, <clears throat> yeah, look like anybody's number or even your neighbor. But I know Joe, he would not call us if he had been drunk driving. I would be the last person on earth you would ever call. 
if you were caught drunk driving. I promise you. I would not be a friendly voice at the end of the phone. I can guarantee it. Okay, and I'm not sure if the silver is going to work, but this paper is really absorbing a lot of that color. Now, that's one thing about the, the heavier paper. It did not absorb the color. Can you see over here, especially, where all the color just kind of has dissipated to nothing? It's not horrible. It's just really different. Hi, Reed. You excited to do another scavenger hunt? I've gotten great feedback. Everybody is excited about it. All right, we're just going to leave it now. <clears throat> need some coffee. Need something on my throat. Yeah, this one's not bad. I'm liking this one okay. I wish I'm going to have to go back and watch Linda's tapes, though, or videos, because um, apparently hers are so beautiful that they're framed um, in the video behind her. Um, I mean, I, I like these, and I'll cut them up and use them as backgrounds or whatever, but I haven't seen any of mine that I would frame and put on the wall has to do with the sizing on better paper. I'm sure of that, Vicki. Yeah. So, see now, stop yelling about the colors. Well, this is an orange. That ended up yellow. <laughs> Look at her. She's yelling at me. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm not sure any of these I would um, hang on the wall as focal art or anything. They're not horrible. They're very fun, and they're fun to do and not hard. You never know what you're going to get. That's one thing I like about this and Magicals. Oh, Eileen, you know she's been doing them for years? Okay. Um, you know what we've never done? I don't think we've ever put Magicals in dilution sprays. Of course, the dilution sprays are so vibrant, we'd have to just use the light colors or the white. Of course, the white. Okay, now I'm thinking. Um, the white, if you put magicals in that opaque kind of white, that could turn out really cool looking. All right, I'm going to pick this one up and move it. I'm thinking, 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 Eileen. I like to drag it because then the salt doesn't move. All right, say bye-bye. Dragging it out of the way here. All right, there we go. Oh, don't spill. All right, thinking, thinking, thinking. If the dilutions, I was so not ready for a mess today, but now I'm thinking we could do the same thing. Let's see what Eileen is saying. What? Linda's videos are specific, even why a towel under the paper makes a difference. Okay. And she also does work on them after they dry. Oh, okay. Maybe I will. I'll have to spend some time this evening maybe watching. I think I'm going to... Um, you definitely love messes because you don't have to clean it up, Eileen. Um, I'm going to sneeze here in a minute, I think. Push-pull of water on paper and colors. Hmm. <laughs> All right. We're going to try the magicals in the white... Um, dilutions. I'll go ahead and use this last piece of crap watercolor paper that I have. 
you can tell me later what Schmo had to say. She, he called the, the it's the police department. Number. Yeah, I, I heard you say that. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She's had hundreds and hundreds of calls, she said. Oh, okay. That's such BS. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and, and start the same way. I did get the little magical powders out. I do need to make a different organization thing for these because this is annoying the snot out of me. Um, all right, let me give this some thought before we start. I'm going to go ahead and spray the water just like we did. Um, and then I'm going to put down the flight dilutions, which this one doesn't work very good. Um, trying to think of the light colors look at the light colors the the lime green is light enough and i think the yellow is light enough everything else i think is too dark we would lose um the magicals in the pigments in the sprays are brushos uh almost the same as magicals eileen can answer that for you i've never had brushos I don't think they're as vibrant as the magicals from what I've heard. Um, yeah, the police station is getting tons of calls from numbers that the number that came into um, Robert's phone. He gave it to his grandson and his grandson called. And it is a Missouri number. Now, how they knew that Robert's grandson would live in Missouri, that I don't know. You know, because it was a Missouri number coming in, so it, it looked more plausible, right? So, anyway, all right. We're going to try the dilutions in the white. I'm going to saturate this paper again. Thanking you for the horse. Mm hmm yeah, she's so nice. Bring, bring me money. She said, I will go get money today. You don't have to hurry. <clears throat> All right. We're going to get this pretty saturated again. So hopefully the dilution sprays will float. You know, if you want, Robert Vaughn, what? if you're just sitting there, you could fill that up for me. Okay, with water? And be a buddy. Well, yeah, I'm not going to spray vodka on my art. <laughs> well, I thought maybe water. you might want Jim Beam or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that whole thing works, but... It didn't take me long to figure out that it's it was absolute crap. That's for sure. But yeah, I guess the police department. All right, that's probably enough white dilutions. <laughs> CB's going, don't get carried away. Oh, I haven't picked out my colors yet. All right, we know we're going to use brown. Okay, we know that. So... And if you've never seen Magicals, this is going to look like really freaking magic to you. I dried it all. Oh, it doesn't need to be dried off. Thank you, honey. Uh, is that not just the most delicious thing ever? No, this is yours. Because there's so much water, the colors really are dissipating. And because I put white down, um, not really sure. That is so cool looking. You've given up saying that? Oh, please don't give up, CB. That's just not like you. You have to keep fighting. CB said hi, Robert. Say hi. I use vodka or PGA in my fix it in and thought vodka in place of water. 
Yeah, what is this sorcery? Isn't this amazing, amazing stuff? Okay. Probably gotten a little carried away with the brown. I love this. This is my favorite brown um, magical. Now we're going to add some more water. I can't tell what happened to all the white. I still got lots of puddles. Let's see what we got going on here. I can't read this one. I wonder if this is the black. I don't know. But it's not going crazy like um, that brown did for sure. No, it, this is the blue. Magicals are um, pigment in powder is really all it is. Um, these are put out by Lindy's Stamp Gang. And I have not tried any other pigment powders. Um, Brushos is another name. Eileen, I think, probably has tried them all because she's that way. Um, but, yeah, they're just in dispos disposable. Um, dissolvable powders. So when you're done, after it dissolves, all you're left with is the pigment on your paper in whatever design it happens to fall to. I'm using a little bit of this Mai Tai orange because I like the orange that was happening. I really want it more blue, but I know Eileen or Subiel. I love it. You love the blue with the brown? Me too, Devin. See that? I love the blue with the brown. I just think it's so, I don't know, rich or something. I don't know. I really like it. Of course, blue with orange, those are um, contrasting colors across the color wheel. So one of them will pop or both of them will pop. Hi, Lori. I have to put some more of that brown on there. Oh, maybe I'll, where's that other brown? I have two or three different browns. And then we can, at the end, we can add grab a guy gold. Here's the darker brown. Nope, wrong one I grabbed. I grabbed purple. And the purple is scary. I'm going to add a little bit of the brown. And Eileen's quit talking because she's pissed off that I chose my own colors, that it's not green, blue, and orange. That's looking really pretty. I'm sorry. Magicals, please. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. These are magicals. Oh, Lori, I'm so sorry. Those are the worst. Root canals, oh, my God. It feels like they're ripping your damn head off. I had a few of them in my life. Now I'm not sure what I want to do with this because I love it just the way it is. But let me think about what the next. Because she did the dilution sprays and then the liquid watercolors. I don't know if I want to add the liquid watercolors to this, though. Ah, so hard, so hard, so hard. I'm going to have to add a little bit of blue back, sorry. Sally, Charlie, that is the black. Pissy pink, puke purple, and moose poop brown. What yucky colors. Look at, there she's back. Now she's just... I didn't, ha there's not one, even one little bit of pink on here, Eileen, not one. All right, what do you want me to add to it next? Um, I'm not sure that I want to put salt on here. But what the heck, we're experimenting, so we almost got to try it, don't we? 
let me see if I add just a little bit. Let me see what color this is before I go all cockamamie crazy. All right, this is a little bit of the hydrus that I'm just going to go back in and add in a few little places where I want it. All right, that needs some more water. I like this. I'm loving this blue-brown. Now cover it with white and start again. Isn't she a pain in the ass? She really is. Just an absolute pain in the ass. How can you not love these colors? I'll never get it. This is not exactly the same as what we were doing, obviously. This is pretty much playing with magicals and watercolor now. I added more blue to it. Should I add some brown? Don't have any orange, Eileen. All right, I'm starting to see how that white, the original white that I um, added, I can see how that's affecting, like in there where I just added that brown. I can see where that's affecting that. Okay. I'm sure you guys can't see it on camera because it's so subtle. Um. But see how that brown, oh, you can't because it's like right, uh, the glare is right there. Duck on it. That's annoying. I might be wish I hadn't done that. that all right and then she would we would add the white but I'm not going to do that this time but I am gonna add the salt oh I've got to go get some more gauze I'm out of gauze but all right I'm gonna add some salt into these really watery areas this could turn out really cool There's not anything in the center that's a focal point, which um, it was kind of the goal of Linda was my impression. I could be wrong, but that was kind of my impression. This is like looking like drugged bird splatter on a road. <laughs> Leave it to Eileen. <laughs> I got a bunch this time. I think this is looking really pretty. Sorry, Arlene. Whew. 
had to run to the farthest corner of the house to get this. All right, here we go. Glasses on. That's kind of too big, I think. You love the dark brown? Yeah, see, I do too. I just, I don't know. There's something about it. Makes me happy, happy, happy. I'm not liking this mess up in here. That's for darn sure. So I'll try and sop up some of that crap. All right, what color do we want to put? Gold or... Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Let me see the other one. There it is. Five. Don't forget CB holes. CB holes? What's CB holes? Instruct me, girl. I don't know what you be speaking of. Do we want gold? Um, trying to think. I don't think the rose gold is going to stand out on this because it's a light background. I would almost rather go with something dark. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Do a whole bottle of black. You would mix gold and silver. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe that copper color. Let's do the copper color because it's going to look good with the brown. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do copper. The darkest of all of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the copper. That's it. Copper, copper is it. It is copper, copper, copper. Hmm. Um, and tell you guys yesterday when we were at Joyce's, okay, yeah, I had to end up leaving, right? Because I had to go help the rat move the backhoe. One of our friends had one of their horses put down. So Robert went over to um, bury it for her. So we had to move the backhoe, and we don't have the trailer here right now. Robert's son has it, so he has to drive it like a vehicle down the road, right? And you're going, I mean, if you're going downhill, top speed in a backhoe is not even 20 miles an hour, I would almost bet. So to go seven miles in a backhoe when you're going about 10, 15 miles an hour takes a while, just saying. So that's what we were doing yesterday, was burying horses. Did you ever think about, I, until I met Robert Vaughn, I never even gave any thought to, what do you do with a horse if you've had it put down? When I met Robert Vaughn, I found out somebody has to um, bury the horses. Robert's done it several times. He's buried cattle for our friends and... But yeah, until I met Robert, I had never given any thought of what happens to livestock when they have to get put down. Part of life, it's sad no matter what. And Kathy has beautiful horses. She shows um, Arabian horses, which is quite an exclusive thing, I think. So...
eat it. Sweet of Robert to do that. Glad he has the equipment. Yeah, see, that's just it. You know, I don't know what she did before we met her. I mean, she's been doing horses for years, but Robert does a lot of work for her. Um, so yeah, it's nice that he has the equipment and, and the willingness to do it because it's, it's not a pleasant job, I can promise you. And then it's been really rainy here. Um, so the ground was waterlogged. Yeah, it was just one of those things. That one up there, I don't think that's going to work because it's so waterlogged. Now I'm just looking at where I've got um, these. I think, even though it's an uneven number, I think I'm going to put one right in here to balance it out a little bit. I'm kind of hoping it stays that reddish kind of color because, boy, is that cool looking. All right, let's see. You got two. Yeah, I think it needs one, like, right in here, which, eh. Let me wet it just a little bit. Oops. Thankfully it didn't fall on the floor. Yeah, that'll work. All right, now let me get some copper paint on it. Yeah, this one's feeling more balanced. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's my colors or something. I'm liking it. But cut up. This one's going to be awesome. The only thing is it needs something in there. So I'm going to add, believe it or not, I'm going to add some more magicals at this late stage of the game. Because some of these areas have almost gone white. That's maybe the salt. I don't know. Got a little carried away there. Hi, Lisa. The French eat a lot of horse meat. Oh, Kathy would never, ever do that. In fact, she made him spread straw before he could put the horse in and everything. No, she treats those horses like children. I'm pretty sure there will be no eating horses going on. And I'm not sure I would want to eat horses either. And I'm not a real, I mean, like, I'll try stuff. Um, I'm not a real picky picky kind of eater. Best one yet. It came from nature. Dog food and glue. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure Kathy would never even do that to her horses. Nope, they're really... She takes them all over the country and shows them. I think they become very much like children for her. Like they would for the rest of us, too. I'm just not a horse person, you know. All right. This one's going to have to dry. But I wish that up there. Be, maybe if I put more salt in there. I'll, I don't know what to do. I'm having... Momentary indecision. I'm going to put some more salt in there and sop up some of that water. Yeah, it'll be interesting. See how this one comes out. This one looks very organic. It looks like a beach or rocks or something. This one definitely looks organic. Here you go, the guardian, whatever. 
salt. Is that the big chunks on there? Rock salt. It's um, ice cream salt that you can smush smaller. Mm -hmm. You're so not a horse person. When I was um, little, I we were at my grandmother's house, my cousin and I. And the last thing, my it was my great-grandmother. The last thing she said to my cousin and me as we went out of the house was, um, y'all stay away from those horses. So what does my cousin do? He goes out, puts reins on the horses, and we drive, take them out on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the horse I was on, a car went by on the highway. The horse wasn't didn't have shoes, slid in the gravel on the side of the road and fell over with me under it. And um, of course, I was hurt. My leg was all scraped up, and and this finger's been kind of goofed up ever since then. Anyway, um, I had to call my grandmother who was the ex-daughter-in-law, right? And I was down there staying with her. So I called her crying for her to come and get me. And she was, I mean, I can say without much reservation at all that she was my favorite person on earth. She came and got me and took me home and laid me on the couch and babied me the rest of the, my visit and told me, you never have to go see those people again. <laughs> Little did she know it was me and my, well, it was mostly my cousin, um, rock friend, who encouraged me to go riding on the horses that we were told to stay the hell away from. You've been bitten and kicked by lots of horses. They know you don't like them. I actually do like horses. And we used to have horses across the street here. And I love those horses. I'm going to take some of this salt off of this one. This one went a little crazy. This was the first one, our blind three. Um, most of the water now has absorbed so I can... Just dump the salt. I don't know if you're supposed to reuse that salt or not. I just keep reusing it. I'm not sure if that's smart or not. But it didn't make as, as amazing texture as that blue one from yesterday. I mean, I can see where the salt was, and maybe I should have just left it alone and let it just keep absorbing. That's probably what I goofed up. Like you can see where it was, but yeah, you love the beer horses. Yeah, I do too. My son, girlfriend has horses and wants him to ride, but I'm too afraid. Oh no, you don't have to be afraid. If they've been trained, they'll be fine. I so want to take those gauze pieces up and see what's underneath them. I really do. Hope they don't come out just like great big blobs. But yeah, there's our first one um, that I splattered the blue on right at the end. Not sure that I love that, but I do. One thing I like about this one is the gold splatters that I flung on there at the end. I do like that. And this gauze here is going to make a really, really cool pattern. The others, hmm, not so sure about. Don't do it, Devin. They'll kick you off right away. That's not true. That is not true at all. If they've been trained and they're good natured, they'll just be fine. Kind of tempted. I'm going to let these go ahead and air dry. I'm not going to, but see, I'm so impatient. I want to go ahead and put the blow dryer on it and see, but I, I really kind of think that for the gauze and everything to work well, you need to just leave it alone for real. My, that blue and brown one is still my favorite. 
All right, I'm going to have to find a place to put this. I moved it over here because I had to have a place for that blue and brown one. I guess I'll have to move this on the kitchen counter. This one is kind of interesting, though, colors. The green one's pretty. I'll show you the green one. Most of its water's been absorbed now, and the salt is loose. And this one, I can tell, is the one that we use the Jane Davenport because it still stinks. I'm going to take some of this salt that moved off. If the salt's stuck, it can stay. The green one, this one is really interesting. I will say that. Very, very interesting. And I don't know, there's like no orange left. A little bit here and there, but for the most part, yeah, it's gone. And this is when we did silver. It'll be interesting. I'm going to let it air dry. I really am. You were bitten at two years old by a police horse. Well, what were you doing jacking with a police horse at two years old? What'd you do? Reach up underneath it, Eileen? Like, that's not a smart thing to do. Ah, uh, you don't have to be afraid of horses. All right. We've done those. Now what are we going to do, or am I just going to go take a nap? Go take a nap. I don't even know what time I came on. I know it was just after Kathy. Oh, well, I've got a timer up there. I've been on for two hours already. God, that time goes fast. All right, do you guys have any questions or anything you want me to do? Um, I'm going to move this one. I'm really going to let these air dry. I think they I think they just do better when they air dry. My dad picked me up with the cop on a horse, and he bit me. Cop said he had never done that before. Well, he thought you looked like chopped liver or something then, Eileen. One of my good friends in high school, her name was Carol, and it was back before Denver spread all the way to Golden. But anyway, she, her family had a horse place where people would go rent horses. So, um, yeah, I was around horses a lot. You want to see me die cut something? Oh, my God. You just want to make fun of me. I actually wouldn't mind trying those embossing folders, though. All right. One thing I wanted to ask you guys about the die cutting and the embossing is um, I'm going to put something over here for the camera to focus on. Um, <clears throat> is there any particular paper that's better than others? Um That was one question I had, you know, like I do have the recollections and um, I have to go get some groceries. And love it. Okay, Devin, go have a great afternoon. Um, all right. I'll. What did I do with all that crap? But yeah, be thinking about what. Um, oh my God. Eileen is going to have my house so flipping trashed out before I'm done here. But yeah, be thinking about what paper is the best for this stuff. Because she is just evil. I know, she's just evil. All right, I'll show you the couple of things that came. I showed you the dies or the embossing folders that came from Wish. 
the polka dot, which I have not tried yet, and then the wood grain. So right now I have three embossing folders. I have the one that came with the um, cuddle bug, which is this one, and I do like it. It's very cool looking. And then the dies, the one that Eileen sent, and then this letter one that I bought it Tuesday morning, which I used on the front of my um, scavenger hunt book. And then the ones that CB had sent as giveaways. I've not really cut these out yet. Aluminum foil. Oh, I tried that, Eileen. Oh, my God. This was a happy birthday one. I think it came from CB as well. The thank you came with the cuddle bug. Um, and then the, this one I had ordered from the Wish app which I thought it was really a cool looking die, but OMG, poke myself in the eyeball for buying that thing. What a pain in the butt. One, I couldn't get it to, um, to cut real well. It, it was just an absolute utter pain. You like you the red. All right, did anybody answer me about paper? And then this was a happy birthday one. I don't remember ordering this. I think they sent this one in error because I wouldn't order a her happy birthday because I don't, I'm not going to make cards. So I just don't, um, yeah. Tell Bill good morning. So did anybody ever ask, answer me about the paper? So that's all the junk. And I've got all this other stuff out, and i got all this other stuff out. Oh, my God. All right. Some of this I can probably just put away real quick. Get it out of my way. The Jane Davenport inks for sure. Even when you open the box that I keep them in, it stinks. Or it has aroma. It stinks. They're really stinky. All right, and there's a lid for that somewhere. I just saw it. Oh, well, I guess it'll turn up later. All right, I'm looking. You might need a shim. Okay, I did use a shim. <laughs> use any old cardstock. You use embossing folders on your jelly plate. Well, that's a good idea. Hi, Allie. Um... All right, let me put this. Where's the salt? I don't want to spill it. All right. Scavenger hunt. Look. Put it away. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try this. I'll maybe try that one because I really do like that. I thought it would be a really cool design, but, man, when I tried it, I was just like, holy crap, Ola, I can't do this. I'm putting some of this stuff away real quick. Got too many messes going on here. Okay, that one needs a lid on it. All right. I am definitely cuddle bug challenged. That's the only thing I can say for my bad self. Um, <laughs> the other day when I tried it, I was just like, oh. But, well, no, that's when Elaine was here, so I wasn't sick yet. Can't use that for an excuse. And if you get too much shims and stuff underneath it, it's hard to um, twist. All right, now I'm getting things more under control here. All right, let's see what you knuckleheads are talking about. Have you a dye brush? No, I do not have one of those, Joan. I think Vaughn just told me. 
about it last night. Vaughn did send me a, a set of instructions and said, try this and this and this. And I read across, I read through them pretty quickly, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and do it as I'm actually playing with the machine, right? There's all the plates that go with it. All right, we're going to do embossing first. We're going to try these two embossing folders that I ordered from Wish because I do want to know how they work. And I'll tell you guys if I got ripped off. Oops. So I'm just going to pick um, regular old card stock that you can buy like at Walmart or anywhere. Okay, so that should be the Georgia Pacific, this one here. All right, got a couple of those. And I'm going to have to cut them. All right, come on. Of course, I'm doing this with white paper with my beautifully clean hands. That makes a whole hell of a lot of sense now, doesn't it? And I'm just doing, all right, wait a minute, eight and a half, that's four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, that's four and a quarter. All right, just double checking myself. All right, we got four pieces. Four and a quarter by five and a half. That'll get us through a little bit of this. Now I've got other stuff to focus on. All right, so anybody who feels inclined to start making fun of me, just scram right now, Eileen. Because I know she's just setting me up. She is so setting me up right now. And I know it, but here I am just like, Following her to slaughter. All right. I've actually got to do it this way so I can turn like that, right? All right. So the instruction said to do this plate, this plate, one of the clear plates, Put your, okay, I'll show you. This is one of them that I tried to do the other day. Um, can you see? It didn't cut all the way through. So I'm going to try it again, and I'll use a shim. I'm throwing that away. Okay? You need an embossing machine. Yeah, well... I'll tell you how big a headache you're going to have in your life if you get one, okay? Just saying. I went through all these years of my life. Are you using the correct plates? Yeah. They only came with four of them. That's what it told me to do. So that's what I did. Do I need to go get the instructions again? All right. Let me get the instructions so that um, Eileen can't make fun of me. Instructions have to be out here because they're not in there. So somewhere in here are the instructions. Or I've lost them forever. All right, you guys can tell me then. Roll it through after a few turns. Roll it through a few times. Turn the die each time. That helps. Try pinner paper with that. 
holy crap, I'll die. I did that, um, Joyce. Um, but this is the way it appeared to me. And I will find those instructions. I don't know where they could have gone. They got to be in this pile of crap right here. Have to be, have to be, because I've been keeping it all together. I mean, I apparently didn't. Oh, well. All right, you guys can just tell me. All right, so here I've got the embossing folder with a piece of cardstock stuck in between it, right? And so if I remember correctly, I use the big old fat white plate, which is plate A, and it said place dies above the arrow. This spacer is not a cutting surface made in China. And then it said to put on the rubber plate or the rubber mat, which is what I've been doing. And I, I understand what the whole rubber mat thing is about. And then this is plate B, place this one down, place dies above arrow, that's all it says. And this is a cutting plate. Now, <clears throat> if I'm embossing, do I go ahead and do this or do I just put the embossing through with nothing? With most of the these machines, the greatest pressure is on the outside edges so if they don't cut, it's often just the middle. Okay, all right. All right, I'm just going to put this through like this. It seems very fat, but I'm going to try it, okay? I thought it was the same for both of them. Now it really bums me out. Yikes, it's not wanting to go. Yeah, it's not wanting to go. Oh, my God, use the plates. Use the plates. Just use these two plates. But that's a big old fat amount that I don't have. Never force it. No, I won't. What are you doing? Oh, my God. You have to help me. That's what I'm telling you. See, this is what I didn't want to happen. Where are those flipping instructions? They were here the day Eileen was, Elaine was here with me. Oh, my God. Now I'm getting all nervous because she's yelling at me, you guys. She's yelling. What did I do with them? They have to be somewhere. All right. Tell me. It doesn't want to go. Then just leave it. I'm going to Vaughn. <laughs> but I don't. I thought I did the plates just the way they said. Eileen, you need to give me very clear instructions. I wish I knew where those darn that goes over there. All right, I'm gonna look one more time. You be telling me what to do, Eileen. Oh my God, what are you doing? They're not there. Crap. All right, I've lost them. They're somewhere, but I don't know where right now. I just had them the other day. Mm -hmm. I need a clear plate. I got a clear plate right here. Look at that clear plate. Is your die thin or thick? This is an embossing plate or an embossing folder. It's not a plate. Embossing folder. A solid plate, usually white. All right, so this is a solid plate, and it's white, and it's it's really thick. Then the other clear plate. So you don't put the rubber mat in there. Okay, I'm rolling on the plate. You are so sweet. Everyone else is act. What are you doing, y'all? You go, girl. <laughs> In other words, Eileen is a mini pants. Clear goes on the bottom. Okay. The base plate and the A plate and the embossing folder with paper in it and another plate. Okay, so you leave the rubber thing out is what you're telling me. Is don't put the rubber thing in. 
because that's all I got here. I'm not using a die. No, this is an embossing. And keep in mind, I'm not the strongest person, but yeah, it's not wanting to go. So I'm not sure what to do. Rubber mat is occasionally used for embossing. I think you put them with the machine. Look where it was. Yeah, I just did, Eileen, and it's not in there. But I'm afraid to break it now. Don't put the rubber thing in. I didn't put the rubber thing in. I didn't put it in. All right, but I know this is too narrow, okay? That's no pressure, okay? So if I try with just the two... Um, clears without the rubber the girls don't do this at home without a rubber all right there okay it's gonna go now i was just being too girly there we go do you guys make that noise when you do it <laughs> No, it was just when the rollers were going up over this. All right, so it did make embossing, but not real thick, not real deep embossing. Can you see that? It's a little bit embossed. You have to really force yours so it'll make the imprint. Okay, I give up. I'm going to the bar. Eileen, 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 sit your drunk ass down right now. No, I don't think she sent me a screwed up machine. I think it's a screwed up operator. Okay, but I did get some embossing on that. I mean, you can see the little doodads. But, you know, it could be the embossing folder too. I mean, that's it's probably as deep as it's going to be. Let's try the wood one. Now I know just don't use the rubber thing and it's going to be fine. Cracks and clicks are normal. Okay. Then use a shim. Okay, I'm going to try it without a shim first. So I kind of know what to expect. I think that's only fair. God, there's ringing in my ears now. <laughs> Little did I know is running a cuddle bug will make your head ring. All right, here we go. I'm doing it again. And the section doesn't work well on the craft mat, so... That's why I have to fight with it a little bit. It suctions better on the wood table. All right, here we go. And I, I'm using my hip to kind of help it. Okay? All right. All right, that one happened a little bit easy. And I'm going to run it through forward. And then I'll run it through back just because I can. How about that? Okay. All right, see, I'm getting to be a regular professional. All right, here's the wood grain. Oh, the wood grain's nice. That came out good. All right, I'm cool with this now. And that was a Wish app embossing folder. That's cool. Yeah, that's going to work just fine. All right, now we're going to, I, I think the other one could have been that it's just not a real deep embossing but we're going to try it again because you can't ever screw up with too much polka dots right polka dots way rock all right so i'll go ahead and put a shim in there so just the width of the papers so that should be good right rub an ink pad on the inside of the embossing mat rub an ink pad on the inside of the embossing mat, and then you can really see how it's embossing. Run through twice. So, yeah, I, I think so too, Denise. Hi, Susan. Okay, if you okay, wait a minute. Now somebody's telling me to spritz. Oh my god! You guys are making fun of me. Look at it, spritz, spritz, spritz. Am I supposed to spritz the paper a little bit? I do have a mini mister that will do um, less than the big one. Spritz the paper first. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm not spending any money for an electric one. God, I was fine without this. Are you kidding me? 
All right, CB, I'm waiting for you to explain to me because now my chat seems all goofed up. Okay, I'm just going to spritz it like one time because these girls are making fun of me. I really need to um, wash my hands. All right, here's. All right, that's as much as I'm spritzing. That's it. I'm not spritzing anymore. All right, I'll shim it. And well, the nice thing is it's going to be on, on video. So if it works, um, I can always go back and say, okay, I know I did it on video and it worked. So I can go back and see how I did it the second time. All right, ready? Go. I am not forcing it. I'm just a freaking weakling. Because I know after it gets started, it will go. And if I break it, oh my God. Maybe I don't need the shim. Yeah, I'm going to take that shim out. I'm taking the shim out. That's that. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's a whole lot easier. But remember, I am a weakling. <laughs> now I'm just laughing. I'll never figure it out. Why is it hard at the end? The shims are just if you need them. Okay. Okay. I, I get that whole idea, Sophia. In the folder, keep that side where you can read it, and you'll get the raised pattern you want. Okay. There it went through. Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm going back through the backwards way. Christ. If you, if you break out in a sweat having to do this shit, why would you do it? I'm not kidding. I'm sweating. Jesus. That is it. I don't want to do anything that makes me break out in a sweat in like five minutes flat. That's baloney. All right. I think I, let me see. It's a little bit better than the first one, but not enough for sweating that damn bad. I'm a weakling, I am. Can you guys tell the difference between them? If there's any difference, it's pretty darn slight. So I'm out of breath. That just about killed me. But the wood one, now I love the snot out of that. That came out awesome. And I don't I don't dislike this one. Yeah, they're okay. You fell asleep, you didn't miss anything, Dorothy. <laughs> so I would say the wish apps, if you're not um an absolute utter weakling and you don't mind sweating, are perfect. Okay. I'm not big on sweating, except under certain circumstances, um, and this ain't one of them. Why is it? Oh, because of the um, craft mat, Eileen. Um, the other day when I was um, using it on the wood part of the table, it was adhering just fine. It was suctioning down. Clearly, I think a woman needs to invent electronic ones. Oh, there are electronic ones. All right, so those embossing mats work. So I guess I can say that the Wish App embossing folders are not horrible, and they were cheap. I mean, I didn't spend any money on these. So there you go on that. All right, now we're going to... And Eileen, I did... Um, Try and do the aluminum foil thing that um, you told me to put aluminum foil, tape it to the, um, oops, just dropped one. <clears throat> I'm going to try that one. 
All right, I'm going to try, which one am I going to try? We're going to try the flowers that Bonnie sent me because these look so pretty. And I'm going to do it in different color than white. Well, but if I do it in white, I can paint them any color I want, right? So there you go. All right, one thing I guess I do need to do is um, cut myself some paper. Now, another question I have is move the damn craft mat. No, I'm, I don't want to screw with that. Um, when you guys say want to um, cut out all these flowers, do you cut them out all at once or do you cut each one individually? That was another question I had. Then stop complaining. <laughs> My whole life is about the wine. I love the wine, Eileen. Yep, when you sweat, it messes up your pearls. And then, plus, you don't smell sweet like a flower anymore. <laughs> so that was another question I had, was do you um, cut them all at once or individually? And which is easier? Because I wouldn't mind running it through four times. Um, you can see like this. Well, I guess I can move them around and get all of them on the page at once. Yeah, I could. All right, we're going to try that. Do them in white. Yeah, I was thinking that too, because then I could colorize them any way I want. All right, because these are um, dyes that I've not ever used before. I'm not going to use a shim. And then what, do I have to start like an encyclopedia and say, okay, these dyes, I need a shim. These I don't, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, I'm, that's going to make me crazy. All right, so we're just going to put this one through the way I did. Only the difference is I'm using the rubber mat. Okay. Oh, this is going in too easy. That tells me something's not right. But it looks like it cut. Yeah, those must, it must be the difference in really good dyes because that I can already tell it cut just fine. Look at how pretty. Oh, some of the finer details did not cut, but the flower itself did. Yep, the finer details did not. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and shim then. We'll have to cut another piece of paper, but oh, that's so pretty. And if you can, double the paper so you get two sets in one pass. No. Oh. Cut all that are the same color at one time. Okay. And depends on the paper you're using. Yeah, I figured that. That's why I was wondering about this um, cardstock that I was using because it's um, it's definitely quite a bit heavier than the Recollections. I of course I don't like the Recollections cardstock. I think it's garbage, but that's what you get when you order Chinese paper. So, yeah, that one is having a few little issues. Okay, now, just as a learning thing here, I need to cut some more paper. I need to just probably sit down one day and cut a boatload of paper. So I don't have to do this every time. Just bear with me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not prepared. Didn't know I was streaming today. I was tricker headed. I got crap everywhere. Okay, if you go to roll it through and it won't catch or it's easy, you need the shim. That's what I think too. I'm going to use the shim this time. Um,. Yeah, I'm going to shim it this time. All 
All right. There's my sandwich. Make me a sandwich. Which is a really sexist thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> it's not helping that it's not suctioning down. I do know that. All right. I think I'm all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back through really quickly. All right. It's better have worked. It better have worked. It better have worked. Nope, it still didn't cut through um, the intricate parts. Now, before um, before I move that, I'm going to assume, because, yeah, see, the intricate part of that die, it still didn't um, go through. Run it through twice. Thanks, Denise. I'm glad you're supportive, because look at my friend Eileen. <laughs> Oh my God, what's she doing? Does that die also have some embossing in the flowers? Oh, is that embossing and it's not die cut? Oh, I hadn't thought of that, Eileen. Let's look at the little packaging here and see what we got going on. Oh, and I just goofed up my chat. That sucks. Well, now that looks like it's actually die cut. And this looks like it's embossed. Can you see that? Yeah, those flowers should be die cut. These are just embossing on the leaves. I'm putting it through again. It needs to be embossed too. Turn the paper and the die around and run it through again. All right. All right, I'll have to run it through this way this time. Because the die should be in the exact same place. Um, I didn't jack with it at all, right? And I moved the shim so the shim's not in the same place. All right. All right, looking, looking, looking. Came, it was just like that. All right. Too late now. We're going to figure it out. All right, there's one, two, this curly Q is kind of a pain too, let's see, but that's just supposed to be embossed and not die cut from the photo. Yeah, see this didn't cut, eh, let me see, maybe I'm just being, all right, it did, it cut, it's just me. Hold your horses. I think, God, those are the fine little things to have to worry about, right? Okay, got it. All right, we got all the pieces. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four dies. Got them, put them back in their thing. My arm's going to be sore tomorrow along with my head. Okay, Vaughn, I will. I'll go read all your instructions while I'm actually doing it. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um, here's the package. There's the leaf. I'll move these so they're not distracting to you guys. Urgh. All right, so here we got the leaf, which I it is slightly embossed. Um, here's the little tulip flower. It's so cute. All right, here's, this goes with that. 
like that. All right, let's see if these little pokey dudes come out. You sure do whine a lot. I know, I know, CB. You should know that about me. Whining is my second best hobby. Right after eating. Yeah, those are going to be too big a pain in the ass to get out, so I'm just not going to get them out. <laughs> How's that? These, some of them would come out, but I'm not going to get them out. See why I'm challenged? That tulip is a lily. Okay, cool. Yeah, they are. They are pretty flowers, no doubt. But yeah, see, these should be, those should pop out and they didn't cut all the way through. So is that operator error or not? But see, I could put the little flat leaf in like that. Leafing like that, I could cut extra leaves. Let's see what we got out of the first one. Maybe we can. We have a whole freaking bouquet here. Look at this. There's another one. Look at that. I have a whole jungle right here. Leaves, leaves everywhere. Look at that. Look at. God, that camera is so crooked. All right, that's better. All right, what'd Safia say? Well, I can't real scroll back my chat, so. Um. <laughs> Smack them around and some will fall out. Okay, no, each set of dies needs different ways of cutting them, okay. Just not enough pressure. Okay, so on this one, maybe I need to do two shims. Because, I mean, I'm using, um, of course, now it's been smushed. But I'm using, you know, fairly heavyweight cardstock on that. But that's okay because, like, if I use these, which I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and save them. Um, I can paint those little areas or color them in. That's no big deal. No worries about that. Now, Eileen, I know what you're going to say to me when I ask you, do I have to keep this stuff? Do I have to keep that, Eileen? I know you're going to say, well, of course. Of course you keep it. That's Eileen whining, CB, not me. I'm just doing an excellent impression of her, how I know what she sounds like when she whines. I'm trying to get this off here. It's about ready to get ripped. Just saying. See why I can't have one of these? I mean, I'm just, in that way, I'm just too not normal. <laughs> okay, there. I got the stems, lilies. Look at all that. It's so pretty. No, don't keep it. Thank you, Denise. Oh. You even have stencils as well. I will never use those as stencils. No, 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 no. I, I will not. No, toss that only circle trash until you get used to it. Thank you, Eileen. Yeah, because this sort of crap in my world, this will, like, it would push my OCD over the edge. Like, okay, now what do I do with this? Where do I file this? How do I find it when I want it? This could push me over the edge right here, this. So it's happy in the trash can. Okay, so those worked okay. I, I think I can get the hang of that. So now, okay, now another thing I'm going to need to know here because my initial thought is, okay, now I've got these extra flowers that I've cut that I'm not sure what I wanted to do with this. Um. Do you put these in like little baggies and attach them to the dies? Where do you put the ephemera that you cut so that you can recover it later and you don't end up cutting more than you already need? And you're going, what the hell? Who worries about that? I, I worry about that. See, I feel like this cutout stuff needs to stay with this now. 
please use washi on the dyes if you cut so many at once. Okay, that's good advice. Thank you, Susan. Okay, you put it in little baggies and attach it to the dye. Okay, I can do that. Because I do have the little baggies and lots of different sizes. All right, let's see. All right, now this is another one. This is one of the Wish App ones that I really wanted this to work, you guys. I really, really did want this one to work because I just thought this was a cool design. Um, and it's obviously not as substantial. Most of you aren't that organized. Well, what do you do with them then? Put the cut flower shapes in an embossing folder and add something to them. Okay, I I get what you're saying. I have all your dies in a box and all your cutouts in a drawer. Okay. All right, Safia, what did you say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, now she'll lose it again. Emboss the flowers. Okay, she's telling me to emboss the flowers. But I don't want to emboss them. Eileen, look at. Oh, see, they already have a little embossing on them. Look at. Can you see that? You can't. Um, see, they already have a little embossing on them. Use a thinner paper. Okay. See, that's what I was wondering, too. I did try on this one, thinner paper, and getting it out was like, no way, Jose, was that going to work. Geez, then don't. Yeah, because he's already got little designs on them. And so do the, even the leaves. Look at the little leaves have their own embossing on them. Can you see that, Eileen? They're all embossed already. Sorry, Charlie. Now, if I turned them over, I could emboss them in, on the back, but the front already has its own embossing. I got to get a little baggie for that. I think those little um, snack size will be good. Um, we're going to try and cut this one again. This one bums me out because I really did want this one to work. I really, really, really wanted it to work. Now, I know there are a ton of little things to cut out, to pokey out on this, but that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. All right. I'm already, I already know I'm going to need a shim because it's a, it's not a real thick dye. The letters work good though. And then I'm going to put another shim in there. This is going to work if it flip and kills me. How about that? <clears throat> All right, I'm cutting another piece of paper. All right. Need another one for an extra shim. You rub a dryer sheet over the dye, it releases the die cut easier. Okay, that's good advice. All right, on the deboss side, a light watercolor wash should settle darker in debossing. Yeah, I yeah, I get that. I cut as needed. I don't stir a lot. That's what works for me. That's what I'll do, painting girl too. Um, yeah, I can't see that I will have, but I'll cut ahead. I just don't, don't see myself. Put it to one side rather than in the middle. Okay. I can do that little thing. Oops. God. Are you supposed to be using the rubber mat for die cuts or just for embossing? Um, I'm thinking the die cuts because I didn't use it for the embossing. And I would think that you'd want the, the rubber on the die cut, right? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Somebody who has one of these bad boys ought to be telling me. Probably broke the whole bastard already. 
All right, I'm going to move the camera way up. So, <laughs> all right, here I go. I'm ready to sweat again. If this doesn't work this time, this dye is going in the garbage. I promise you. This is like the fifth time I've tried to cut this bastard. You can tell I'm die cutting because I'm cussing. <laughs> All right. If this doesn't cut this time, it's not ever going to cut. This is, yeah, it's cutting through. Can you see? What cut through the last time, the only thing it didn't get all the little pieces. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I can't tell from here. Yeah, see, I think it's still. All right, let me show you what I got here. I can't tell. All right, we're just going to see. This is it. We're going to see. Hi, Julie. All right, here we go. I know it didn't cut through down here. So I'm tempted to run it through again. Yeah, this is going to end up just right in the trash. I ain't putting up with this crap. All right, and I'm going to put it through this way with that on the edge because it didn't cut good over there. Right? Right. And I'm turning the plate upside down because it looked like it got a little bit of a warp in it. Turn it and run it through again. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I might have Robert do this part for me. He's stronger and he doesn't mind sweating as much as I do. All right, I can't go through backwards. I'm pretty sure about that. All right, let's see what we got going on. And I am sweating. All right, I'm not going to work that hard for any of this anyway, so let's just see. Really, I'm going to leave it in the die and just go pokey these things out. All right, so you guys saying if I had a brush, it would make this part of this easier. All right, this one did cut through this time. So I was just probably trying to rush it a little bit too much, maybe, right? One thing I will say for sure is I'm not quite as challenged right now as I was when I got up this morning, right? I learned something. You think it's a faux dye? You think so? No, it's cutting. It cut. Um, but it was a lot of trouble. Um, so it better be worth it is all I got to say. I just thought it was a cool looking design. And I'm not sure. This was a wish dye. And, and I knew going in that the wish dies may not be as good a quality. You know, like the Tim Holtz ones that Eileen sent, those bad boys cut perfectly. They weren't a hassle. It was problem free. So, you know, there you go. Um, 
But if this comes out cool, now I'm trying pushing it out from this side and seeing if that helps, if that works a little better. Yee, nope. Not reading chat, poking. Can't chat, poking. All right. Yeah, there's still some kind of sticky little spots, so I don't know. I really don't. I probably will just get rid of this die. I'm not. I I'm not going to work this hard for any damn thing. I promise you. I'm just not. For as much work as this is, oh my God, a lot of trouble. She moved it once. <laughs> How many plants came with the cuddle bug? Just this, um, Kathy. Um, the two clear ones. Let me see. Two clear ones, which are both about the same width. Or diameter, whatever. A rubber one um, that's slightly thinner than the clear ones. And then this big honking white plastic one, which is about a half an inch thick. So that's what it came with. What should it have come with? What do I have to buy now? <laughs> Give it a whack. A digress saves a lot of work. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Yvonne did tell me some stuff that I need to go look at, so I will do that. I just, she sent it last night, and it's not like I've had a huge amount of time since then. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and punch this out. Of the die, we'll see what we got. It is stuck in the dye pretty good. I really wanted this to work. I think it's cool looking if it will just work. Doesn't that look cool? I'll put it against something. Let's see. Yeah, I have to keep poking those little things out, and I'll do that later. I won't make you guys sit and watch that. But I just thought it was a cool-looking die. You love that die? See, I do, too. Send me a holy crapola. <laughs> Looks to me like this die would be cool, even if all the bits don't cut. Hi, APG Jamie. This was a Wish app die, APG Jamie, so whatever it was... It was probably free with a dollar or two shipping. I mean, they're they're really dirt cheap on the Wish app. One thing I will say is it was smaller than I expected. I don't know what I really expected, but when it came, I was like, dang, that's small. But for a card or something like that, it's fine. But yeah, that's one thing I would say is when I got it, I was like, dang, that thing's small. And then that happy birthday one, I don't, I think I goofed up. I think I meant to order something different because I wouldn't buy a happy birthday one. I just know me. I wouldn't. One thing I would like to have, and I don't know why, just because I'm an alphabet freak, I'd like to have a bigger, um, why am I using the rubber mat? I thought you were supposed to. And I just tore that. I thought you were supposed to. I did it the last time. You're not supposed to use the rubber mat. What's the rubber mat for? All right, I don't want to tear that. I have an electronic cutter. I would gladly cut some out for you. See, painty girl, that's what I thought. If you are getting rid of that dye. Um, this is a lot of, I mean, you got to really want this bad boy. 
but I mean, I still think it's way cool. And, and until I, I'm not getting rid of it until I get this machine figured out. The rubber mat is for embossing. Oh my God. Well, all right. I'm going to try to cut without the rubber mat. If I haven't already broke it. Yeah. See those I'm going to have to go ahead and just cut by hand. But yeah, I think the, the thing is really cool looking. And then look at all this trash that you get to hoard, Eileen. All right, I'm going to try it without the rubber mat, and then I'm going to call it a day because I got to, well, dinner's already ready because I'm so smart. All right, so you're saying the rubber mat is for embossing only. Here's my other leaf. All right, now I wish I had those damn instructions. All right, so there's my white paper. There's my shim. Let's look at what else. Okay, we're going to look at these other ones. This is, these are thicker dyes um, that Vaughn sent. Cut embossed stencil. All right, we're going to try this. Okay, the rubber mat is for embossing the dyes after they are cut. If you, you also use a rubber mat for embossing with dyes too. They were asking if you were using it in chat, Janet, but you've been so busy, girl, you missed a lot. Oh, I'm sure of that, Safia. <laughs> yeah, they're on my Twitter message. Um, okay. We'll just cut one of these because it's going to pop out real easy and we'll just see. All right. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That staple just was going in my thumb. All right, so here we go. All right, what is this thing that's in there? All right, this is a cutting gut. This is Sizzix. All right, it has instructions for different um, machines, apparently. So for Sizzix, you do it this way. For Quick Cuts, you do it this way. And for Craft Well, you do it this way. So what do y'all, um, yeah, there's sandwich instructions in here. I know how to make a sandwich. You need the base plate, which is this, the A. The C plate, I don't have a C plate. Eileen, that was what the deal was. Then the die, then paper, then, yeah. See, I didn't get a C. I have two Bs. I have an A and two Bs and the rubber mat, wherever it went to. And I don't know what this is. It feels like a magnet. Yeah, it is. That feels like a magnet, I guess, to hold the dies on. That's a big old nice piece of magnet. Um, and here's Cuddlebug. Never mind. Okay, the Cuddlebug says um, B, cutting pad, cardstock die, C, die adapter, which I didn't get a C. You need, okay, you can get a C plate off Amazon, I think. Yes, to hold the dies. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> so I have to order a C plate. A C plate is a die adapter, and A is a spacer. Where's A? A to me is the, the big fat one. The C is the die adapter. Crafty's Companion comes with a magnet. That's awesome. Okay. You need a C plate to cut thin dies. Okay, so I need to order a C plate is what you're saying. All right, I'll put that on my list of crap to do later. Order a Cuddlebug C plate. All right, well, maybe that's why I've been so challenged, do you think? 
Yes, confirmed, available on Amazon. Okay, then I'm going to I'm gonna get a C plate. Put the die between the two B plates to cut maybe. That's what the instructions said, Kathy, is that you put um, the paper. And I can't find the instructions. That's what's so frustrating. Um, you put the paper. You put the die, which I'll just grab one of these. They still got tape on them. Um, all right, I'll move that so I don't bend the die, right? All right, and it's stuck on there with double-sided tape, apparently. I don't want to bend it because that would be stupid as hell, wouldn't it? Okay. All right, so there. That's kind of big. I'm going to get a smaller one. Bear with me, bear with me. Yeah, they're just on there um, with double-sided tape. Okay, we're just going to do that right there like that. And whatever it is, I'll use it in my... Um, oh, wait. Okay. Hang on, keeping all my crap together. All right, now the last time I used a shim, well, you changed the cuddle bug a lot then. You're only as good as the equipment. You can get the instructions online, Google it, and send you a link to a video. Okay, I need to head out. Thanks, Mo. Bye, APG. Have a nice evening. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about what version or anything. These look like nice dies. So I'm going to do it exactly like without the rubber mat this time. And if it doesn't cut through, then we'll know. We should be using the rubber mat. I'm not going to use the rubber mat. Ready, set. Yeah, see, no, I definitely need the rubber mat because that's not, there's no pressure at all. No pressure whatsoever. So... I, I know it said to do that, to use the rubber mat. <clears throat> All right, let's see. This is just with one shim. And it looks to me like it already cut through, so... And I hope I put the paper on the right side for Pete's sake. Pete probably didn't give a rat's ass. All right. Cut out perfect. So, all right. Now, Eileen, this one doesn't have, I mean, I don't know. We'll go ahead and emboss this now, right? Is that what you were wanting me to do? is after I cut the die out, then to go ahead and use the embossing folder. Should I do a polka dot one? Yeah, let's do a polka dot one. Where's the polka dot one? Where's, oh my God, this place is a flipping mess. I know I put it back in the, jeez. You dope on a rope. Nope, I thought I put them back in the, how could you lose something when you've never even moved your rotten butt from this site? How can you do that? You need the C plate. Okay. This is so weird. They really changed the scene. You need not the rubber mat. You need a sh No, there, the shim was not going to work. You would have used the magnetic shoe. I would have used the magnetic shoe too. All right. 
this is crazy as all get out. All right, well, I would emboss it if I knew where the embossing folders went. It had to just be here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Ouch. Underneath the red piece of paper I put over here. All right, now we're going to do this. And on this, I can't remember now. What would you have used magnetic sheet for? All right, so if I do that, let me think. I'm thinking, do I want it embossed that way? Because that's going to, yeah, that's the way I want it. Okay, now CB said to go ahead and spritz this. And I already lost the mini mister. What a mess I've got in my life right now. And there's white dilutions all over everything. <laughs> over here oh god okay all right it got spritzed a little bit hi lynn did you have an on because i don't know if i have a question is there an electric machine that cuts these dyes Yes, there is, Lynn. Yep. Now this, what did we decide? <laughs> is you don't use the two plates. You just use the, um, God dang it. You just use the rubber. Is that what it was? Is that what it is? Just use this? Let's see. How much can I hurt at this point? I've either ruined everything. Nope. I've got to use at least one of those. All right. And somebody said put it more over toward an edge. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. No, that's not embossing. And they cut a lot better than the manual ones. Oh, God, don't tell me crap that I need. Yeah, I'm not doing that. All right, I'm going to read. I'm going to watch some videos. This is a lot of work. Yeah, see, I... Something about this just doesn't feel right. How did I do the embossing last time? Did I use both of them? I don't remember. Yeah, I need to have it on a surface where the, um, the section is working for sure. See, I don't remember the last time did I use both of the plates. It seems like I did. All right, it's going through. It's just a lot of freaking work. Yeah, this is just not freaking worth it. <laughs> this is so not working. It's pushing the embosser out the end. That's bullshit. And I'm sure. Yeah, that's see, that's not going to emboss anything. Did I take the rubber mat out? Maybe that's what I did is I just put it through without the rubber mat. We're going to try that. Maybe that's what I did. I know there was something different, but I don't remember what. Maybe that's it. Yeah. And then I don't have to kill myself. Whew. 
you don't always need the mat. Well, apparently when you're embossing, you don't need the mat. All right, so here's my cool cut with its polka dots on it. Is that what you wanted to see, Eileen? All right, got it, Kathy. All right, so there's my little taggy thing that I made, and then I embossed the little dots on it. So that's cool. I'm glad I bought the polka dot one. Hi, Josie. Did I say hi, Joey? You, this is better than TV. I'm not sure about that, Panty Girl. Because on TV, I don't think they make, pe make people sweat. That is fun, though. All right. So to emboss, I don't need the rubber mat. This I will go ahead and keep trying to cut out because I do like that. I really like that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take one of our little ink pads. in coffee color and hit the tops of the embossing. Now we have a brown polka dot little Peggy do. Now how cool is that? And that used to just be white cardstock. I'm pretty sure that Cricut's gonna hire me to do this for them sometime really soon. You're going to say, if we give you Botox to keep you from sweating all over the damn place, would you do our demos? Painty girl. <laughs> so there you go. That is a polka dot taggy do right there. I'm excited. So it, it's not the machine, it's the operator. I'm pretty certain of that. And I'm just a whiner, what can I say? Chalk on a piece of foam also helps. Chalk on a piece of foam. Okay. Yeah, I like, that's one thing I like about the little you know, um, pads like this. They're so easy to control to do something like that. I do love these little baby ones. I want all of them now. But I'm going to make myself wait because I'm a spoiled brat. So anyway, that was fun. And I'm I'm done sweating. I guess we could try one. Go ahead and colorize this. Thanks, Vaughn. All right. I'll get the plum out and we'll turn our wood plum colored. Come on. These will probably end up in my scavenger hunt book somewhere. Coolio, huh? Next time, get it fixed. Yeah, see, and I think it's easier, too, when I'm doing it by myself. I mean, don't take that personal or anything. But, yeah, where I can take my time and think about what I'm doing and what makes sense and why. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll do better when I play by myself. So there's our two successful. And where did that, look at that red ink is now everywhere. Holy crap. And that's the kind of stuff on your white cabinets that really is hard to get off. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Do you guys want to see our paper before I turn this off? Oh, that brown came out cool. All right. Here is the green. I'll pull it back out a little bit. 
it's not dry, but it doesn't have puddles anymore. So um, I think the salt has pretty much done everything it's going to do. So I can probably pick it up. This one came out really cool looking. When you look at it on the camera, this one is way cool looking. Okay, let me get some of the excess salt off. I'm not going to brush the salt if it's still stuck. I'm going to go ahead and leave it and let it air dry itself. Um, but this is going to look really cool when it's done. Yeah, this is going to look really awesome. And where all that brown, where the spots are, that's where the different salt was. So, yeah, so that green one, that one came out uber cool. I love that. Let me see if I alter the lights. Okay, yeah, you guys are getting more of the color if I turn off that light. So that one came out pretty, pretty cool. I like it. It almost looks like a head of a bird, right? A peacock or something. You could turn that into a peacock really easy right in there. That's cool. All right, and then I'll show you the brown and blue one, and it's really cool looking, too. This may be my favorite of all we've done, which should be come as no surprise to those of you who hang out with me a lot. This one is awesome looking. Yeah, peacock, yep. And the salt's getting really pretty. <laughs> Prettier than the moose poop one, you think? Yeah, this one's really interesting. Um, I like the magicals in white. What's really weird, like look at here, but I, I don't remember now if that's the white India ink or the oxides or the uh, dilutions, because remember up here we had a puddle of dilutions of the white that had all the different colors mixed up in it. And then look where the salt was, what it was left with. And down in here, it's so different. So I'm thinking this has to be the India ink and this up here is the dilutions. I'm guessing. Yeah, some of them haven't dried completely yet, but that is uber cool. The green is the best so far. That one I just showed. Yeah, that one is pretty. The one with the peacock in it. Yeah. So anyway, I'll be interested to see this one when I take off the gauze. I'm really, I like the gauze on this one a lot. This one, if I did more to it, and I'm going to have to go watch Linda. This one, I think, is pretty enough with some work on top of it. You could actually frame it. I really believe that, at least in my house. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. By the way, don't forget Colleen is streaming tonight at 7. That's right, you guys. Tonight at 7 Eastern, um, Colleen, who we know as the scrap chick, is going to stream and um, some of the other ladies are going to help walk her through a wonderless class. So yeah, I'll try and be there. Hi, Deb. I'm glad you came. First timer. Yay, you. Thank you. And we're just about ready to call it a day. I've been on here like three hours now. Yeah, three hours and 14 minutes. So the cold has not killed me yet. So I'm a lucky girl, but that is one pretty piece of paper. I don't care what anybody says. You can't deny the blue and the brown together is delicious. Just saying. So this was a crazy thing. We did scavenger hunt. We did watercolor, crazy, whatever that's called. And we did embossing and die cutting. 
And my house looks like 15 trains went through it. Yeah. But this is delicious. This one is, this is my favorite, Eileen. This one is absolutely my favorite. That's too pretty to even use for anything. So, hey, th I just looked up and noticed all the thumbs up. Thank you so much for all the thumbs up. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, Jean, if you ever watch this, I hope you're feeling better because I'm filling in for Jean today. She normally is on noon on Thursdays. So, um, yeah. So I guess we'll just catch you maybe tomorrow or over the weekend somewhere and I'll see you. Oh, her name is, um, yeah, Colleen is the scrap chick. Um, maybe Eileen could get you a, a link to her channel. Um, Colleen's streams are a ton of fun. Um, I'll wait and let's see if Eileen can't get a, a link for Colleen, for those of you who are not familiar. Um, thanks for coming, Kat. Um, she's funny. She's so much fun. Yeah, the scrap chick right there. In fact, you can go on the three dots just to the right of her name and um, go subscribe to her channel and hit the notifications. Oh, and Dee, Dee was saying, too, on the notifications, if you hit it once, apparently you get a message that says get some notifications. If you hit it multiple times, you'll get it uh, ultimately goes to get all notifications. That didn't happen on mine. So, um your favorite the favorite the day is the red and blue one. Red and blue. Oh, I didn't get that. I didn't bring that one over. I moved it out in the kitchen so it could sit there and dry. Yeah, let's take a look at that one and see how that came out. This one looks like a a party. <laughs> a party on a page. This one actually is pretty interesting too. You never know what you're going to get, right? Looks all polka dot. Looks like it has chicken pox. Yeah, she's a scrap chick on YouTube. So, and I'll, um, yeah, I won't pull off this gauze until it's completely dry. But, yeah, that looks way cool. This one looks like kind of a nebula, right? Looks like a something in space. It's so pretty. Yeah, just click to the dots, just to the right of any of our names, really. And you can go to our channel if we're streamers. Um, Joycey is a streamer. Um, Scrap Chick is a streamer. Eileen and CB should be streamers. Um, Vaughn, hopefully, is going to start streaming. Kathy Berg is a streamer. I can't think who else is here that streams. So, anyway... Thanks for the link, Eileen. Um, I'm not going to get to the post office probably till next week, Eileen. So that's it's not going to be headed to you anytime soon, but you'll get it sooner or later. Yeah, I've been here like three hours and 20 minutes now. So time for me to go get a fresh cup of coffee and call it a day. So thanks for coming and playing with me today, you guys. And as always, I love you. See you, bye.